So we're just continuing with that one. There's three special limits we need to know. We can derive these by using the table if you want to. And one of them is the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x divided by x is equal to 1. Now really the only way to prove that, show you that's correct, is by taking the table because if you do direct substitution you're going to have what? What is sine of 0? So direct substitution will give me 0 over 0. And 0 over 0 is not a 1, by the way. So your answer is 1, but it's not a 1. That means you got a problem here. You're dividing by 0. Can't do it. So how do we find the answer? We have to look at the limit, make a table here. We'll look at it from the left side, we'll look at it from the right side and see what's going on. Is the y value approaching something? From the left side, you're not at zero yet. Maybe we'll start with the minus one. Then we'll up minus point one. Not mine, minus one is too far. Minus point zero one. Minus point zero zero one. From the right side, we'll try the point one. Point zero one. Point zero zero one. And let's see if we see where it's going to. Negative point one. When you're dealing with that, that's your in, in uh, radian mode, not in degree. X in radian. So make sure you calculate, change the mode to radian. The truth is it doesn't matter what mode you're in, but with these numbers, I'm in radian mode. But uh, sine of negative 0.1 divided by x, which is negative 0.1. I came up with 0.998. Next one, sine of negative 0 0.01 divided by negative 0 0.01. 0 0.99998. Try one more. Sine negative 0.000, or 200, 0 0.001 divided by negative 0.001. And I came up with 0.9999998. Where is that number going toward? One. The 1. From the right side, what is sine 0.1 divided by 0 0.1? 0 0.998. The next number, 0 0.99998. The next number, 0 0.9999998. And you can see that's also going to 1. So the limit of sine of x over x as x approaches 0 is always a 1. That's one of the special cases. We have three of them. So this is one of them. The second one, so I'll just, you know what, I'm just going to write them next to each other. Number one, so I don't have to keep going back and forth. I'm not going to derive the other two. Sine of x over x as x approaches zero, that's equal to one. The second one, the limit as x approaches zero of 1 minus cosine of x over x 
that's also equal to zero. And the last one, the limit as x approaches zero of one plus x to the power of one over x, that's equal to e. These are the special cases, three of them. Now, knowing these, here's some questions for you. Knowing these, this has to be the same as this. So what about if we gave you this problem? What's the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 3x over x? Is it a one? Can we use property number one? Not really. Why? Because these numbers don't match. They have to be the same. So if it's like three sine of x over x? Sine of three x over x. This is three x here. For the answer to be a one, this and this have to be the same. They're not the same. Exactly the same. Well, can we make them the same? Multiply this by 3 and multiply this by 3. It's a fraction. So what happens now? It becomes the limit as x approaches 0 of 3 times sine of 3x over 3x. We know the answer to this. Remember one of the things is if you have a limit of b times f of x, you can take that 3 actually, because 3 times. You can break it down to the limit as x approaches the 0 of 3 times, that's a multiplication, the limit as x approaches the 0 of sine of 3x over 3x. This is one of the special cases now. That's property number 1, or rule number 1. That's a 1. What's the limit of 3 as x approaches 0? What do you think? 3. The number doesn't change. The limit of any constant is the constant. That's a 3. What's 3 times 1? 3. Let's try another one. What's the limit of tangent x over x as x approaches 0? Direct substitution gives you what? Gives me zero on the bottom. I don't care about the top. That's a problem. Doesn't matter what the top is. What's tangent zero? Zero. Is it zero? 
It doesn't really matter if that number is zero or 50 or infinity, whatever the case, you got zero on the bottom. Problem. Hmm, 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 hmm. What's tangent means? Tangent. Isn't the tangent sine over cosine? That's what tangent is. Sine over cosine divided by x, that's the same as what? The limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over cosine of x dividing by x is the same as multiplying by what? 1 over x. Notice I'm trying to massage this to get what I'm looking for. <coughs> sine of x times 1 is sine of x. Cosine of x times x is x cosine x. Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't look bad. Because now I can write that the limit x approaches 0 of what? Sine of x over x times 1 over cosine x. <coughs> so I can write the sine of x over x as one piece. What's left? 1 over cosine. Now you got a multiplication. Break it down to two parts. This is the special case. What's the answer to this? That's a 1. That's not a special case, so we'll try direct substitution with it. 1 over cosine 0. What's cosine 0? Is that a 1? 1 over 1, that's a 1. So it's 1 times a 1. The answer is 1. Plug it in. Try to find the limit. You replace x with zero. Direct substitution. So that's what you have to do with these problems when you start looking at them. The special cases. <coughs> 